Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to, uh, Let's Play Wild Arms 3. Well, first, uh, let me show off something here that I didn't explicitly mention, but... For those of you who haven't played this game before, you may have noticed this treasure chest. And some of you may even think, well, why didn't you get it? Well, yeah, out of range. Can't get it yet shame because it contains a, uh, a migrant seal actually but we can get it later uh, we need a different tool for that uh, we want to talk to the people here uh, if you talk to them with jet you get different dialogue like I'll just show that off yeah yeah same people that jet, jet was talking to in his um, prologue I think this guy will tell you where it is. Yeah, that's where we're going next. Just wanted to show off that you could uh, talk to it with either Jet or any other party member. Abandoned mineshaft. And no, you never get to go in there. Sorry. All right. Here's Martina. Let's talk to her. Continue the Martina side quest. I think he... I, maybe you don't have to talk to this guy, but I talk to him. Oh, God, stop! A little bit of uh, backstory about uh, Martina's mother. Same thing. Damn. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and this guy, uh... You can listen to most of the tracks in the game. They unlock as you hear them. Um, unfortunately, you cannot listen to the final few themes. Even if you're in, in a new game X. I don't know why, but they never unlock. At least I've never been able to unlock them, which is really stupid. Especially since... Uh, the, not the final final boss music, but one of the last bosses has really awesome battle music, and it never unlocks. Stupid. Unless I'm missing something, you can't unlock every track in the game. I think you can in Ultra Code F, I think they fixed that. But, I forget. Martino will move on now automatically. Anyway, let's, uh, let's ride our horse here and, uh, quick, change pellets. Oh, you can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you hit L2, the camera will actually stay in place. You hit it again to reset it to follow your character. Kind of useless. It only does it on the world map. I don't understand why it does it. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, enemies on the world map uh, include, uh, I think there's some rather difficult enemies here. Yeah, Cursed Corpse, they're weak to light, which we can't even hit right now, so... In truth, I'd probably avoid them. Um, if you do have any blue bracers, you may want to allocate them. Uh, I got one, so yeah, let's give them to... Uh, Moonspark, Aqua Whisper, Fiery Roar, that's what it's listed in my notes. Not sure why. <laughs> you think you think I'd want uh, Virginia to be immune to paralysis, but apparently not. But I only have one. Oh, I know why. I know why. I must get a medium later on that will uh, allow me to uh, be immune to paralysis automatically for Virginia. Anyway, I want to give uh, a blue bracer to Moonspark, because that's the one that takes priority for some reason. Probably because of his speed. And, uh, okay. Dog's barking, sorry about that. Uh, they also drop, uh, 
blue bracers, but it's pretty rare. Just so you know, even common drops are only about 10%. God, shut up! It's really annoying when that happens. It drives me crazy. Uh, the other enemy you can encounter here is called a Trillobite. And uh, the dungeon we're looking for is right here. It, they have an attack called, what is it called? Uh, insect Breath. It's not nice. It reduces a single target's HP to one. Yeah. They are vulnerable to sleep, though, so I would have Jet put uh, one of them to sleep. Uh, the Cursed Corpse are not susceptible to sleep. Just so you're aware of that. And uh, this is the Glimmering Emerald. Rather interesting area. Do not enter this area if you are not level 18 with Virginia. Grind outside. Because, uh, believe it or not, this area is a huge step up in difficulty. The normal enemies in here will kill you. They are really hard if you're below level 18. One in particular. They're called, uh, what are they called? Fairy Lights. And they do a lot of damage. But we'll uh, we'll deal with them as we come to that. So, first uh, we got two paths here. The north path is a dead end for now, so let's uh let's head west. Let's uh let's show off a battle right now while we can here. Ah, mixed formation. Fairy lights are the enemies that I'm worried about. Uh, you can encounter I think up to like six or seven of them, or maybe eight of them. I think it's eight of them actually you can encounter, and they deal they have an attack called bright blast where they just deal massive light damage to a single target. I mean, it's like, it's like 150, 200 single target. It's a lot of damage. Or they'll waste a turn. Sometimes they can cast Reflect on themselves. But they rarely do it. Usually they'll just cast um, Bright Blast. Uh, these enemies are the best enemy in the game, though, to grind for Light Rings. Because there's, you can counter large groups of them. You can summon, mass take them out, and you're almost guaranteed to get a Light Ring eventually. I mean, well, not guaranteed, but I mean, a group of eight of them, uh, even with a 3% drop rate, you're going to get a light ring after four or five of that. You know, four or five encounters, you're going to get a light ring. Very, very useful there for that. Uh, the other enemy is a hobgob, which is these guys here. And uh, they're pallet swaps of gobs, obviously. Uh, they still have reckless and gob army, which, you know, all the gobs will attack the same target. But then they have go gob to gob, and this attack is annoying. It's difficult to explain. Um, if a gob has, say, 20 HP and he hits a character, that character's HP will automatically be 20. Yeah, so basically the current HP of the gob, the hobgob, is the HP of the enemy, of the character. So. Yeah. I think he just switches HP with your characters, which is really annoying. But I don't think he can go above his max HP, so that's nice. I think what's their is max what is their max HP? 160. So even at like full HP, they'll still reduce you to 160 HP, which is really annoying. I don't know if they can heal themselves with it or not. Maybe they can. I think it switches the HP, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. For this encounter, let us move Fiery Roar over to Jet. Uh, Virginia will. Let's actually move. Uh, how much HP do the Fairy Lights have? I don't think they have a lot, actually. So, yeah, they only have 30 HP. So, Virginia should summon anything. Always, always, always have Virginia summon. That's critical. Jack can one-shot them with uh, the Fiery Roar medium. The Hobgobs there. It's taking me a while to explain this. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, the, uh, the Fairy Lights, you can take them out with the summon. And then Jet will, of course, one-shot them with Fire Roar, Fire Rage Medium. Uh, he needs that attack boost to do that, though. And then uh, Gavos can one-shot the other one. 
Uh, I think Clive can one-shot one normally, so I don't think he actually needs... Uh, light ring, light ring. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! All right. Got a light ring already. I'll take that any day of the week. I'll need a uh, light ring later. I need, uh, I think, three of them, maybe four of them. I forget. Oh, we got a little puzzle here. Let's uh, let's solve it, shall we? I think we shall solve it. All you gotta do is screw up. No. Jed, thank you. <laughs> move one of the blocks out of the way, doesn't matter which one, and then boomerang. It's easier, obviously, if you move a block out of the way and then go over here and do it, obviously, but that takes too much effort. <laughs> Who wants to walk all that way, even though I just did show you? Oops. Okay, this room. This room is interesting. Yep, it's a mirror. It acts just like a mirror, so... They mimic the movement, so you push one away, it moves away on the other side. You push it closer, they move closer together, and I meant to actually fight that thing. Oh well, it was too quick for me to react. So just make a bridge. Uh, when you make a bridge on one side, the bridge on the other side will be complete, which is nice. Let's see, this is, uh, are these, uh, ah, uh, hobgobs. I can show this off, why not? Uh, four hobgobs. Yeah, no weaknesses on any of them, so I'm not gonna move bother moving. I'm not gonna bother with anything, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast a uh, petrify on one of them. Just because. I'll have Jet actually put one of them to sleep. The one I'm not going to attack. And then Gallows will hopefully be able to one shot one with a refrigerate, and I think five could definitely one shot one. If you want Jet to one shot one, you have to move Fiery Rage over to him. But he has the sleep spell, so I don't care. Because Virginia can't one-shot one anyway. If Virginia could one-shot one, okay, I might do it, but I don't see the point. Ooh, gob army. On Clive, that's not good. Ah, we got him. Get him, Gallows. Good job, man. We'll have, uh, yeah, five will shoot him there. We'll petrify and uh doesn't really matter what he does. Nah, we don't need to sleep. So let's uh let's cast uh let's shoot. No, nah, no, nah, we'll just have uh Gallus finish him off with a pressure. Jet won't be able to kill him anyway. Have Virginia finish him off with a quick petrify spell. Get him, Gallows. Yeah, sleep spell is awesome. I love the sleep spell in this game. At least when you first get it. Later on, not so much. But right now, it's pretty good. There is a pretty broken way to take advantage of status talents in this game. But I'll go over that later. I might make a bonus video on it. Alright, and uh, this is, I think, a Gellicard times three, right? Yep. Okay, and before we jump down there, gotta use your uh, little freeze doll. Why you have to freeze that away instead of melt it away, I don't know. That doesn't make much sense to me, but whatever. Anyway, as you can see, there's two of those, so we have to do that twice for each side of the room. Once for each side of the room, I mean. These guys, uh... Whatever, this won't take long. Whoa, what the heck did I do that for? That was annoying. Actually, I'll edit this out because the phone's ringing. I love that. Go out to answer the phone, come back in. My party has done their job in one round. I'm ready to keep playing. That was... Oddly enough, the power company. They want their money! No, no, I'm just kidding. No, they want, um... Yeah, that's the hint. They want, uh, to change out the, uh... The little meter. The little electric meter, or whatever. I guess they want to update it again, or whatever. It's okay with my book. <laughs> they wanted to know when they could do that. 
So I guess they're gonna come out tomorrow and do that. Which means they'll probably have to turn the power off for a few seconds, which could be a bit annoying. Hobgobs. Yeah, like this, I'm gonna I'm not even gonna bother with sleep. If uh, there was more than one more than one. If, it was, if, it was, if there was four, okay, I can sleep. But three, nah. Not gonna worry about it. If you encounter a group of like eight uh, fairy lights, summon immediately with Virginia. You absolutely have to take them out. If they get bright blast, if they all use bright blast, you're screwed. Uh, they can one shot. They can take out one or two characters easily. I mean, if they can target Virginia, I mean, four of them use use bright blast on Virginia. Virginia's probably dead. Uh, the other four use it on Jet, he's probably dead too. They can probably kill Clive with that, it's ridiculous. They're ludicrously strong for this point in the game. And they're really fast. Like, they have so much reflex. Let me, I actually have it their stats here. They have 122 reflex. Yeah, I have 125 at level 18 with Virginia. You need to be level 18 with Virginia. There's no way around it. If you're not level 18, you'll die. Because they'll they'll all go before you. You encounter a group of eight, bright blast, bright blast, bright blast, bright blast, you know, eight times, over and over and over again, and you're just you're screwed. <laughs> That's you're screwed. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Okay, we got 4,200 Gela. All right, this is this had me confused, but. It's just a mirror, so we'll just mirror away. There you go. And you just, ow! Jesus Christ, Virginia. Why would you run into a glass wall like that? Man, suicidal. Yay, Virginia leveled up. Hooray! I like leveling. Alright, let's keep moving. So, yeah, I guess I... So, are you RPGs fans as pissed off as I am? <laughs> Apparently, I found out... Just from you know, because I've been interested in a game called Xenoblade. Because it's an RPG. And it's not being released here. Why? I don't know. It's already been translated into English. I don't understand why. Um, I'm strongly considering just importing it from Europe. For some reason, Europe got it and North America did not. I don't understand that. I almost never see that happen. But whatever. Um, just stupid. Let's head west first. Apparently the last story isn't coming over here either. But I haven't heard much about that one anyway. I mean, I don't know what that one's about. How that one plays or anything. But Xenoblade got good reviews. So that really pisses me off. Oh, crap! Um, summon, summon, summon! Ah, oh, thank you, Virginia. You're a lifesaver in this situation. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty uh, pissed off about that. I don't know what else to say about it. And um, it doesn't help that in order for me to actually get the game and import it, I would have to literally mod my uh, Wii. Because, and again, I don't understand why the Wii is region locked. I know the PS3 is not, but I think the PS3 is the only system that's not region locked. Why are there region locks? What possible purpose do they serve other than piss you off? There's no reason for it. If I buy a game from Japan with my legal money, why the hell can't I play it on my American console? No, think about that. Why can't I? If I literally spend the money to buy the game, there's no reason for it. None.
Fortunately, Sony's moving ahead with no region lock, so I hope the rest follow suit because this is ridiculous. Absolutely no reason for it at all. It's one of those things that just really pisses me off. Uh, we got a room here. Uh, but we're at the 20 minute mark, so we'll uh, we'll continue on next time from this room. Sorry for my rant. <laughs> Thanks for watching.